it seems that every week NASA makes the news. In the last few years alone, they've discovered an incredible amount of planets, nebulas, galaxies, and a vast array of other celestial objects. However, one story that's recently made the news has come from one of NASA's chief scientists. NASA will soon be traveling to Mars in order to drill deep holes in the rocks. This is in the hopes of finding evidence of living organisms on the red planet. Interestingly, Mars could be home to current life, as the space agency has expressed much interest in the planets over the years, along with upcoming space agency SpaceX, who have said they plan to put humans on the red planets within the next few years. The NASA scientists said though, are we ready for the discovery of life on another planet? It seems that the likelihood is that we're not alone in the universe. Many places in our solar system are expected to harbor life, and our solar system compared to the universe is monumentally tiny. Jim Green is the man who came forward and said this statement, and he thinks this mission could be a real success in finding life on Mars. However, he has said that he doesn't think people of our planet would be ready for the news. It's no secret that we've managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time. And in regards to space, although it's massive, we have discovered some incredible things in recent years. It's been suggested by the scientists that this mission will likely be going on for the next few years, and that it will take time to find out if there really is life on Mars. Dr. Green said the following about the upcoming mission. I've been worried about that because I think we're closer to finding it and making some announcements. It will start a whole new line of thinking. I don't think we're prepared for the results. Interestingly, some have said they think that we're close to discovering life on another planet, and they say this because it seems that space agencies are gearing up to explore space more. For example, they use SpaceX and Space Force as examples and say they think Space Force was established because they're trying to tell us something. Other countries have shown a massive interest in space. This includes places like China, who not long ago made history by landing on the dark side of the moon. It's not just NASA who will be digging into the Martian surface. It's been reported that the European Space Agency along with Russia will also be heading to Mars in the hopes of finding life and that they say they're hopeful and open to the idea that life could be present on Mars. NASA's Mars 2020 rover will be sent to the planet with one mission, and that is to find life. Researchers have said that it will be equipped with the newest technology that will help aid in this discovery, and that once it's collected samples, it will send them back to Earth. Dr. Green said that he's excited for this new step and has wished the European Space Agency and Russia the best of luck in their mission. Dr. Green went on to say that if we discovered life, it would be an incredible milestone, but that it would lead to many questions that we might not be able to answer. For example, how did life get there? Are we related in some way and how long has it been there? This new Martian rover is expected to land on the red planet on the 18th of February with the European Space Agency's rover landing around the middle of March. Researchers now know that water exists on Mars, with scientists saying they think a lake sits under the planet's south polar ice camp, and it's around 12 miles or 20 kilometers across. In the past, studies have been made and we found in previous research there were signs of liquid water, and this was believed to be flowing on the planet itself. However, this is the first sign of persistent body of water on the planet in the present day. This has been known for a few years now, and it's thanks to NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter that helped to provide researchers with the strongest indication that water flows on Mars in the current day. This was a massive discovery for the space agency. Using an imaging spectrometer, researchers were able to pick up on signatures on the slopes of the red planet and this showed them that the darker stripes that were seen on the slopes were in fact made by water. During the warmer season, it was harder for the scientists to pick up on, but they did appear on several locations on the red planet, meaning they were able to come to the conclusion on what they were looking at. John Grunsfield, astronaut and associate administrator of NASA's Science Mission Directorate in Washington said the following, our quest on Mars has been to follow the water in our search for life in the universe, 
and now we have convincing science that validates what we've long suspected. This is a significant development, as it appears to confirm that water, be it a small amount, is flowing today on the surface of Mars. NASA went on to say that hydrated salts is what's causing these darker patterns to appear, and that these salts lower the freezing point of a liquid brine. As of right now, the space agencies are looking forward to landing their rovers on the Red Planet, and hoping that life does exist on Mars. NASA also made an interesting discovery back in 2014. The private space agency originally saw signs of methane plumes ejecting from the surface of Mars, and began to quickly theorize its implications as an organic molecule of which only finds natural formation via the creation of a variety of bacteria. After many sleepless nights, engineers of the space agency worked to send a Martian rover with the capability of testing the Martian surface for additional organic molecules. Later in 2014, Martian rover Curiosity began collecting evidence of methane traces in the Martian atmosphere, and made a startling discovery. The Martian rover found that methane on Mars grew more concentrated by seasons in the Martian atmosphere, and directly correlated with the Martian seasons overall. This led researchers to believe that this correlation between concentration by seasons was additional proof to the hypothesis that Mars contains some form of life. Methane is also an organic molecule and the majority of methane on Earth also correlates with our seasons, as certain bacteria and microbes eject this organic molecule into the atmosphere during summer and autumn seasons, similar to what the data shows in sparks of methane across the Martian atmosphere. Although definitive signs of life have yet to be observed on the Red Planet, the odds of this observation seem to be more and more promising with the passing years. Another interesting discovery made by NASA happened while above an asteroid. It was announced on the 3rd of December 2018 that a NASA probe had completed its 1.2 billion mile or 2 billion kilometer journey to arrive on the asteroid Bennu. Researchers were excited that the probe was up to the task, and had managed to get close to the asteroid as planned. When it was close by it began a survey of the asteroid. The spacecraft then started to do flyovers of the north and south. The probe will get close to the asteroid as well. It's been announced it will fly around 4 miles above Bennu during each flyover. This asteroid isn't just a piece of rock floating in space. It's one of our solar system's ancient relics. It's been floating in space for more than 4.5 billion years and scientists have said this rocky body formed within 10 million years of our solar system's formation. Scientists have said that Bennu likely broke off from a much larger carbon-rich asteroid around 700 million to 2 billion years ago. Its original formation was likely in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The primary goals of this mission are to refine estimates of Bennu's mass and spin rate, and to generate a more specific model of its shape. The data will help determine potential sites for later sample collection. The first measurements have shown us something incredible. Two spectrometers on board have provided evidence that clay minerals have come into contact with water. Interestingly, the researchers have said the asteroid is too small to contain water, but did say that during its lifetime it must have come into contact with water. As mentioned, it's thought this asteroid was once part of a larger body, and it's thought the larger celestial body had ice on it. This is how the asteroid most likely encountered water. Another thing researchers have said is that this asteroid crosses the Earth's orbit frequently, and could be a problem for our planet in the future. Scientists have said there could be a potential impact around 2135. It's said that if an asteroid of this size was to hit our planet it would have consequences. The asteroid itself is over 500 meters wide, and although this isn't as big as the asteroid that caused the KT event, it would still cause a lot of damage. However, by then researchers have estimated that we'll likely have the technology to stop events like this from happening. Radar imaging has not revealed any satellites orbiting Bennu, but small objects up to 20 meters wide may be present but undetected. So my question to you guys is what do you make of NASA's comments that we're not ready for the discovery of life on other planets? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, 
and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.